Hey guys, so I just installed the macOS 12 Monterey on my M1 MacBook. So I'll share my first impressions and some of the features that I'm really excited for. A glimpse of how it looks, feels and performs with some benchmarks. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe and also like this video guys. Let's begin. So to install this, you need to be enrolled on the public beta, which you can do on the website. And once you do this, you get an update in the settings. Just follow the on-screen instructions, which is very easy to follow, but make sure you take a full backup of your system. So let's look at the boot times. Uh, this took about uh, 16, 17 seconds, which is uh, similar to the Big Sur, I would say. So on the first boot, I was prompted with this mail privacy protection, which is a nice addition to the mail app, but I was instantly surprised with how snappy everything feels. I mean, the M1 MacBook on the Big Sur, it was really fast already, but on this first public beta, I, for some reason, felt it was even snappier. The app loading times are like really instant. Just look at how fast things open, Safari, and just look at the Chrome. So once the apps get loaded in the RAM and the cache the first time, the next time when you open them, they just open instantly. Since most people don't shut it down and use it in the sleep mode, this feels like a really good improvement. Now it's really early to judge the performance, but here are the benchmark scores and it looks uh, pretty much comparable with the previous version. Another welcome change is the Safari. I use Safari a lot for browsing and here you can see it looks very iOS-ish. I mean, look at that status bar. It just blends in and feels more immersive. And not just that, you have the tab groups, which I find very, very useful. It makes things clutter free if you use a lot of tabs, which a lot of people do. And you can organize them and just uh, save the tab groups for the future use. I mean, this is a really nice change for a better browsing experience. Also, the Mac OS gets the AirPlay love. I mean, you can mirror your iPhone, iPad for whatever reason. Maybe you want to watch some video or you want to just share the gallery stuff on the Mac or some presentation, particularly if you have a huge screen, it really makes sense. So it performs as it should. You can see there is a bit of delay or a little bit of latency, but for presentations and for casual stuff, it still works just fine as you can probably make out in this video. So we have this Google lens like feature, just select the text on any photo and you can actually look up for that information and you can do a lot of other things like search on the maps or add the address to contacts etc which is really really cool. Also I was really excited for the spatial audio for the M1 Max. I mean currently I do not have the AirPods right now to test them but personally this is a very pleasant surprise because I wasn't really expecting this and really happy about it. Also they added the low power mode on the Mac which is insane because the M1 Mac already has an insane battery life. Now I found that it doesn't really throttle the CPU aggressively. As you can see it feels just as snappier as before. For casual use you can probably just turn this on and keep using it without really affecting the performance unless you do anything intensive so I'm really curious to find out what kind of battery savings that we get with the low power mode. Also they have added this VPN like feature which is not typical VPN it only kind of uh, works with Safari and some selective apps not system wide but this does not come free you need to have a iCloud plus subscription for this so it's not free after all. Also, I was excited about the shortcuts and the automation part particularly. It's similar to the Bixby routines on the Samsung phones or the Tasker app on the Android phones. But I really couldn't find the automation part. Maybe they'll add it later or maybe I'm missing here. But I hardly found any time to really explore this. So anyway, this was supposed to be a quick look and first impressions video. I wouldn't recommend installing this right now because there could be some bugs if you are using this as a primary device. So anyway, that's been it guys. If you found this video helpful, please like this video. Also subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.